Hi everyone, and welcome back to another It's Crispy Drawing, and happy mermaid. I love mermaids. Mermaids make me super happy. I like drawing them. I've always kind of wanted to be one, especially as a kid. I used to pretend to swim like one. I thought because it's mermaid, it would be a really awesome time to explore drawing a mermaid in a way I'm not used to. I usually draw mermaids in watercolor pencil. So here I am, I'm going to start with getting a bunch of references, especially ones of professional mermaids and of one of my favorite photographers, Elena Callas. Elena Callas is super cool. She does a lot of underwater photography and I've always really liked the shapes of hair that happen underwater. That makes me really happy. I love drawing flowy things. If you look at a lot of my personal art, I draw a lot of long skirts and a lot of long curly hair. So we're starting with a sketch and then moving it into Illustrator. This is my big challenge for this one. I like inking in Illustrator, as I've said before, I like how I can edit the lines along the way and I think that's really useful, especially for something like this. There's a lot of overlapping things, so you'll see me throughout this process moving lines to different layers to make sure the colors are in certain places because I love using colored lines. I think it brings out a lot of depth and a lot of variety to a piece if you're using a bunch of different colored lines instead of just black or a singular color. Another thing I wanted to do with this project was work with color palettes. I pulled some from online and I also used some of the preset ones in Illustrator as well as using their color palette tool. I wanted to keep with a purple and green theme and I think that worked out really well. Whenever I try to do a speed drawing, I always try to do something to challenge myself. So this one is all about gradients. I wanted to see how much soft shading I could get done in an Illustrator file without using Photoshop. Photoshop you can do painterly things and you can use a soft brush and paint pretty much in Photoshop but Illustrator is not like that because it's vector graphics so I was using a lot of gradients and using this more edited kind of gradient. The other thing I was challenging myself on is the scales. I think it's really important to put scales on mermaids. I think it makes them look more organic and real but this was really challenging for this. So I started out making a custom texture with a scale pattern. And then I tried a bunch of different ways to see what I could get to work. I tried using meshes. I tried putting into Photoshop and using that mesh. I tried using a warp tool. But what I ended up doing is building a texture brush and then converting the texture brush into a shape. And making the, a shape, I could then go in and edit the scales one by one. Even that took me a while. I ended up trying a diff bunch of different ways. Um, I ended up putting it smaller ones, bigger ones, all sorts of stuff. But I'm pretty happy with how the end result is. I want to give her a background because I like showing off hands. I like the idea of fins being between fingers, but that doesn't always work out. So here's our mermaid. Did you find this helpful? Did you find this fun? Tell me about it down below and we'll see you next time.